Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Big Papa V, and I am back with another video. So, for today, we're gonna be doing as you can read by that lovely, 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 lovely title. We have a Netflix watch list or my Netflix my list. That's what it's called. So, if you, if you would like to see what i watch on my netflix and i don't even watch netflix like that i'm really more of an hbo kind of girl if you know what i mean but yeah if you want to know what to watch on netflix and exactly like what shows are good or, and stuff like that what movie shows anime is good are, are good like that you continue watching because it's coming Okay, so the first, um, sh like, you know, Netflix suggestions that I say, um, I'm gonna just put them right there. So if you're wondering what they look like, you already got a picture. So all you have to do is pause, you know, go look it up on Netflix. You'll find it right there. If it doesn't show up from, um, well, obviously it's gonna show up because they're on Netflix. These are my Netflix watch list, so they're on Netflix. But yeah, so let's go first. first suggestion okay so first suggestion is parasite oh my gosh i freaking love parasite because it's like so different it's not like any other anime where actually it is kind of like a lot of other enemies because his mom ends up dying but i'm not gonna tell you too much because if you want to watch it that's a spoiler alert right there but yeah um yeah it's an anime it's a really good anime i'm not gonna lie it's one of my top three because i don't even know if i finished watching it so i do have to finish watching that but it is a really good anime if you want to like get a variety of animes you should really do this you should really um watch this one because yes it's fighting and stuff like that but it's also like a lot of gore a lot of blood everywhere and it's just a really good you know anime honestly i think so at least okay so next suggestion next we have black mirror now a lot of people know what black mirror is because it's like one of the best um like futuristic shows out there i started watching that when i was in high school so imagine like all the seasons it has it doesn't have a lot of seasons i'm lying to you but if you would like to watch black mirror and get to see some like really crazy stuff you should really watch it because some of them are like mind-blowing and then some of them are like wow I could have really thought this and made millions off of it, but no, you know, the world works in mysterious ways. That's how it's gonna have you feeling. It's gonna be like emoji. So, yeah. The next suggestion is Black Lightning. Now, I don't, I don't know where all these black stuff are coming from Black Mirror, Black Lightning, but I'm going to say that Black Lightning is one of my favorite superhero shows. It has to be my favorite superhero show. I'm not gonna lie because I don't I don't watch a lot of superhero shows, but this one really caught my eye and the main character is sexy. So I'm not even gonna lie about that. I really watch it for him. I'm not gonna lie, but um, yeah, it's really it's really good. It's a really good show. It's about oh I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I am not i can tell you what it's about. Um, it's about um this guy. He has two daughters. He has a wife and stuff like that. But he's a fighting crime person. So a lot of people, the, the streets are plagued with this group, with this gang called The 100. And they're honestly just some hoodlums, some gangbangers. And it's like, he's fighting crime in a city full of them. So it's like, damn, a black guy being put to work against other black men because black men don't know how to freaking act sometimes. And you already know, you already know if you're watching this. But this show is very good. If you want to watch it and you know be obsessed with the main character like i am just go ahead and watch it it's really good it's a really good show i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's really good and it has some china and mclean in it so if y'all like some black girl magic along with her sister i don't know the name of her sister but 
black girl magic is on 100 and black and black boy joy is on 100 too so in that you should watch it if you want some black black magic black joy so yeah next suggestion is riverdale now i know i just came from saying black this black that but riverdale is one of those white people shows yeah because i don't think it has any black people in it it's one of the white people shows that's actually hidden i'm not gonna lie to you it is a very good show it has a lot of seasons i think it has a lot of seasons but i have not been caught up since like two years ago so if they dropped anything since then i'm just really behind on that and i plan on watching it but after i'm finished watching like anime that i really want to watch so yeah after i'm finished watching like those animes that i just mentioned i'm going to i'm gonna finish watching like riverdale and stuff like that some of these other one other ones i have to catch up on too but for now we're gonna stick to riverdale and the next one i'm about to say the next suggestion is 13 reasons why now this show is very popular this show is mad popular i'm not gonna lie this show right here this show right here will have you thinking like what the hell is going on with today's society it's like damn this girl's crying out for help but yeah 13 reasons why will have you thinking like what's wrong with today's society people people only appreciate you when you're gone stuff like that it's really like kind of messed up honestly but at the same time it's entertaining so if you have like a kind heart but you also love to watch people like do crazy stuff then just watch just watch 13 reasons why because it's a really good show but it kind of like puts suicide in your face it's like suicide 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 but you know if you if you were smart you know suicide you know you know but next suggestion is all american now this is one of the shows that i forgot to continue because i be watching anime and i be watching movies and um hbo so that's really all the things that i watch right now but i alternate from animes and stuff like that but this one is not an anime it's about this guy black guy he um he ends up going to he lives in this very bad area but this guy takes him in and has him on his football team and is basically coaching him being like a father figure because he doesn't have a father figure in the house yet but yeah so it's really good it's a really good show i'm not gonna lie to y'all all these are really good shows really good movies really good animes all these stuff are really good and some of them are reality but yeah it's just a lot of the stuff on here is i'm missing some too because i do watch some really good stuff but i'm missing a couple of them a couple good ones so yeah on to the next on to the next um suggestion on to the next suggestion is dun, 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 shameless now i'm not gonna lie i have to get it quite loud for this one because this show will have you screaming at the top of your lungs talking about myself, oh my god what the hell what the heck oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh because it's like just that good it has a lot of seasons i'm not gonna lie to y'all it has a lot of seasons it has like what 13 12 11 it's one of those and honestly i've been along for the ride i remember when i first started binge watching that like a couple years back boy i tell you i was in bed watching that faithfully every day for at least eight hours i am not going to lie to y'all it's a very good show and the characters so like i was saying the characters in this one especially one especially if you if you're a girl and you watch shameless you know what character i'm talking about because my other characters are gay i'm kidding but yeah shameless is a very good show if you want to binge watch like a really long series which i have a couple of those in here you're going to watch it and you're gonna love it anyone who watches shameless is is a friend of me at least so yeah we could just bond over watching shameless and stuff like that yeah but next suggestion next suggestion is called good girls if you don't know what good girls is you're living under a rock because not too long ago that the good girls um good girls was like one of those shows that everyone was talking about it was like dang um i forgot but that is one of those shows that was like kind of popular so a lot of people were talking about it some people put me onto it my, actually my sister put me onto it so i guess you know i can say that it's a good show 
it's a good show i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna spoil anything for y'all because i really want to say something right now but i can't spoil it for y'all so y'all have to watch and just find out the juiciness i'm talking about because there's only one juiciness in this that people will be like hmm 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 but yeah that's how people be that's how people be you know when they watch good girls they be like okay then oh okay then missy but yeah that was a really big hint if i gave you one so yeah next suggestion next suggestion is maki yes i said it b-a-k-i baki now this is another anime that is like very gory i'm not gonna lie i i, I was kind of cringe i was like cringing a little bit even though it's like fake blood and it's obviously like fake i still you know i couldn't get over the blood it was a lot of blood being shed in baki and it's i think it's that thing is still going is it not i, I saw some new episodes like not so long ago but i didn't watch it i'm going to watch it though because it's not a bad one if i'm ever if i'm ever like really bored one day i'm just gonna go ahead and click on baki and finish watching it because who cares you know but yeah baki is very gory anime so if you want to watch something with a lot of blood and a lot of fighting and a kind of a cute a cute main character which most most of them are cute because i got meliotis i got um ba baki i got um uh ryuji and a couple others all, all these are in here so yeah we're gonna talk about them animes we're gonna talk about them movies we're gonna talk about them series and we're gonna talk about them reality shows so we have all of them included into here so let's continue next suggestion next suggestion is queen of the south now this is kind of like breaking bad because it has to deal with drugs and stuff and it has like narcos too because it has a lot of like drug activity but queen of the south is about a girl and if you know girl power all day girl power all day but queen of the south is a really good movie i mean it's a really good series um she the girl in it she's going through a lot she's fit, fit she's on like rich and stuff but she's going through a lot i'm not gonna lie so if you want to watch a hispanic woman you know sell drugs and look nice all the time and you know snort coke then you know queen of the south is for you queen of the south is for you my love so next suggestion is if you you already know what i'm gonna say next suggestion is big mouth <laughs> so yeah um big mouth is one of those shows that everyone watches it's a kid show but it's like family guy so i'm i didn't say it's a kid show it is not a kid show it is like an adult film it's like an adult like cartoon i guess because they would not show Big Mouth in a in a in an elementary school because Big Mouth is very inappropriate. I'm not gonna lie. They be jacking off. They be they be like daydream about like having sex and stuff like that. And it's not for kids. So if you're a kid, do not watch Big Mouth. Even if you see that it's a cartoon. But yeah, I I made the mistake of letting my niece watch it, and I got in trouble. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't get in trouble, but but um yeah. Big Mouth is a very good cartoon for adults. So if you like them type of shows like Cleveland, Family Guy, American Dad, then Big Mouth is for you, my guy. Big Mouth is for you. That's the only one I watch because I don't have Hulu or nothing to watch anything else. But Big Mouth is good enough. Netflix did its job. That's all I'm going to say. So next is a series that's already finished. So there's no more episodes coming. I was there. I was there watching it when the season's finished and it's called orange is the new black so yes orange is the new black is a really great show i had to get soft voiced for that because some stuff happened inside of it that i really wasn't messing with and it's like dang do people in general really go through this stuff probably not because obviously it's just a show and it's supposed to be entertaining and stuff like that and people in jail are not that entertaining honestly unless you watch like beyond scared straight or you watch some other like prison show like wentworth which is also on netflix which my sister watches but yeah orange is the new black is one of my favorite favorite shows used to be one of my favorite shows but now since it's not in since it's not going it's not still going anymore i really don't mess with it i i would rewatch it but 
that has way too many seasons um I, i'm not into watching a lot re-watching a lot of things but if i if i, if I was really bored one day i think i would re-watch orange is the new black so yeah it has a really good series if you want to watch it the whole thing just go on to netflix and they got it for you so yeah that's the great thing about netflix it always has it, even if it's even if it's not going they're still gonna have it on there so the next suggestion is tall girl movies one and two they just put out the tall girl two i think and tall girl i'm not really from i, I kind of forgot what it was about but it's still on my netflix watch list and not to say that's bad but um i haven't watched the second one i i watched the first one and it was really good so i put the second one in my in my um, netflix watch list and i'm gonna watch it soon but yeah i don't have much to say about the second one just the first one was really good but yeah so if you want to watch a uh, tall girl get her a bay and flaunt it around like it's nothing then you can watch tall girl because tall girl is a really great movie i'm not gonna lie it's a really great movie and i use great because that's what it is you already know i don't watch something flabbergasting but yeah let's go to the next suggestion now this because you know i'm a black woman myself we have one on one. I started watching this when I was at my friend's house. I took a sleep over there, which I kind of do pretty often. I was living with her not so long ago, but she put me on to one on one. One on one is about a black girl with living with her dad. She has friends and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just a really good, it's a really good show. It has a lot of seasons, I think. And if you want to watch like something entertaining, like like. I don't know what to compare it to because I don't like usually watch a lot of those stuff like it's like Brandy I mean Moesha it's like that so if you want to watch something like that about a young black girl living in America with her father which is kind of like different because you know fathers are not that common in the black community or they are and we just some of us just haven't experienced that but if you know what i'm talking about you would watch it one-on-one -on -one is a good show i'm not gonna lie to you so next we have dun, da, 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 how to get away with murder now this one ooh, ooh, i was waiting on this one i was waiting on this one at the dough if you know what i'm saying but yeah um uh la, 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 la. what was i gonna say how to get away with murder is one of the best tv shows out there it was i first started watching it when i had cable but now we just have wi-fi and a smart tv so i do be watching it but it hasn't come out with a season in a while i do be watching it it is a very good show i love it i'm not gonna lie i love it like i haven't used the word love to describe my liking of i haven't used use the word love yet so i'm gonna say i love how to get away with murder because that bit really tell you how to get away with murder it's a really good show because it's like dang why would they put a show out like this a show out like this could end up having y'all you know you know thinking about murdering someone but it never really get that far but a lot of the times it's just like a lot of covering up it's not really how to get away with murder it's just covering up the murder so you could end up having to you know go to court and lie about it so yeah but anybody going to jail for perjury if they catch you they they catch you i'm not gonna lie i'm talking to the main characters of the show so yeah they catch you at i'm you know you you know but yeah next suggestion next suggestion is raising beyond now i had to take a little pause for that because my nephew loves that show he is the one he's not the one who put me on but my sister put me on his mom and it's it's a really good show i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie i haven't watched the whole season but i've heard good things and only good things he's a kid with powers and he has he lives with his mom like i said the 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 father is in his life i think i think the father is in his life but yeah raising dion I haven't watched it, so I, I haven't really watched it, so I can't really tell you. It's just in my watch list because I was watching it, but then I stopped watching it. But yeah, Raising Dion, I still have to give it a chance. I can't lie to y'all and say that I watched it, 
so if you want to watch it and like give me feedback or you already watch it you want to you want to comment what it's about and like how juicy it gets then yeah that's one thing that you could do but your girl is going to watch it when she feels like watching it because it's not that interesting because i don't know i have to i have to um after I, I have to really like get into it because i don't know watching shows about little kids not really my thing yeah next suggestion next suggestion is another one of my favorite animes seven deadly sins so seven deadly sins is one of the greatest animes to ever make it out there i'm not gonna lie to y'all because seven deadly sins is like the best anime that i've ever seen that i've ever seen it's like first one first one next the first anime that i like is seven deadly sins i'm not gonna lie Tower on titan has to be like first no it has to be second Tower on titan is second and then third is Tora dora we're gonna get to that y'all gonna see what i'm talking about but those are three top three top three three um animes that i like so yeah that's one of the greatest ones and similarly since you just have to watch it you just have to watch that thing and i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's really good it's gonna have y'all being like oh shit oh shit oh shit beach <laughs> but yeah so it's gonna be like um like yeah you have to watch that you really have to watch that and a lot of these i'm gonna hype up because they deserve to be hyped up they really do so yeah seven is one of those animes that you need to hype up i'm not gonna lie it's right around in there too but yeah we're gonna get to it now next is are you the one now i'm not i'm not sure if y'all are the same way but um i love a good reality tv show i'm not gonna lie to y'all because um are you the one is when like netflix did outdid themselves it's like dang if i were ever to be famous i would actually if i could ever get onto one of those shows one of the reality tv shows it would not be bad girls club it would not be um it would not be um the circle it would be are you the one because are you the one is fantastic it's like you never knew that love could be like that but they open your eyes to be like hey you don't gotta be like the best person to have love because some of these people they are very self-centered they they um conceited as hell but they found love in a hopeless place they found love in a hopeless place i'm kidding i'm kidding but yeah they they found love in like like less than two weeks my my nigga like some of them are really in it for the love and some of them are just in it for the money but you gotta have a good mixture of both and that's what they have so yeah um are you the one is really good reality tv show it's the only one i have in here because i don't like the other ones that they have on there i I watch survivor but that's kind of boring now that i think about it but yeah the next show i mean suggestion that i have is coffee and cream i'm not gonna lie i added this to my to my watch list because the first time watching it it was really funny so i was like i'm gonna watch this again at some point but i don't really be on netflix like i told y'all I don't really be on Netflix like that. I'm a YouTube, HBO kind of girl. But yeah, Coffee and Kareem, it's a very funny show. Um, if you want to watch it, just, you know, watch that bit. But yeah, yeah, Coffee and Kareem, if, 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 no, it's about a cop and a kid. So it's kind of a weird combination, but what, what comedy movie is not a weird combination? So yeah it's really good it's a really good movie so next movie is mr right i'm not gonna lie uh just because the last one was about a, a black kid i forgot to mention that is a black kid in coffee and cream this one is about a white girl which is the exact opposite of what i just said a black kid a white woman exactly the difference but yeah mr right it's a very funny one as well i'm i'm into funny stuff because you know if it ain't funny it's not watchable for me because like at least a little funny if it doesn't if it's not a little funny then it has to be very dramatic because those are the two things that go together very well dramatic comedies 
And if you disagree, then your mom's a slut and a so and a skis bag. And you know, it's not giving. So if you don't like watching romantic comedies, I mean, dramatic comedies or romance comedies, I meant to say, yeah, I had it read the first time. But yeah, Mr. Right is very funny. It has like very good content, very, just very good content. I'm not gonna ask y'all. But yeah, that is it about Mr. Right. On to the next suggestion. The next suggestion is never have I ever. So this show called Never Have I Ever is about an Indian girl who is stuck between a rock and a hard place. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but she is living life in a high school in a high school environment. She I'm not going I'm not gonna spoil it for y'all, which I have been doing a lot of in this video, but yeah, never have I ever. It's just about a teenage girl who who's supposed to be moving to her homeland but she doesn't want to because she, she's trying to have a nigga and stuff like that and it's just really sad because like i don't know what to say it's like really sad because imagine being her like if you haven't watched it if you have watched it then you know what i'm talking about but imagine being her it's like dang you know daddy dead too but um yeah so yeah never have i ever watch it if you want to if you don't want to don't watch it pretty simple but yeah next suggestion next suggestion is 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 next suggestion is ratchet and i don't know if you got that right because i did not say ratchet like a ratchet but i said ratchet or is it ratched who knows? It's, 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 it's probably not neither of those. It's probably Rache. Rache. Ratched. Or something like that. But it's a very elegant show. I did not finish watching it because it was kind of given. Oh. Okay. It was kind of given. Like. Mm, I don't know. It wasn't given. Like. It wasn't giving what it was supposed to be. I only watched it because, you know. I only watched it because the lady in it played in American Horror Stories. So I was like, she she be doing it in American Horror Stories. Wow, well, a show about her might do even better. So yeah, I, I watched it, but I did not finish it because it was kind of giving like boring tease. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. But if you like American Horror Story, you know who I'm talking about. You can just look it up and see her on the, on the face like I showed you right there. And yeah ratchet ratchet i'm gonna say ratchet because that's what it sounds like it says so yeah next next um next question so we are number 23 and we have another anime yeah another anime we have attack on titan so yeah attack on titan is a very good, uh, very good. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's probably not better. I like I said, it's not better than Seven Deadly Sins, but Attack on Titan is a very good show. I mean, it's a very good anime because you know, I don't know, it's just given like what the world could be like or what the world was like when things have first started out, but it's really not because well, how the hell they have like gigantic behind like monster thingies looking like humans and eating people like where do they get this type of content from like where do they get these ideas from it's like make it make sense i don't know it's this is given like y'all just some weird asian people who like to write down weird behind stuff and make it into a movie for millions and millions of millions but i'm not gonna lie the main people did the damn thing when they made us have on titans they did the damn thing on Seven Daily Sins and Attack on Titans and every other anime that I watch because animes are good content. Some of them aren't. Some of them are. You gotta weed them out. I don't watch Naruto. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not that kind of girl. But if you want to, Attack on Titans is the perfect anime for you to watch so you can get into like the feel of what animes be talking about. 
because the main character usually has a very sad backstory, which they do have a bad, very sad backstory. And it's like, dang, 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 dang. It's just really good plot. So if you want to watch it, watch it. Like I said, if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Like I said. But yeah, next suggestion. Next suggestion is you. Anyone got confused by that? Because <laughs> I just said you and, and you know, I'm like, talking about me? I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. <laughs> I'm talking about you, nigga. <laughs> no, because that's really funny. I really watched that that um, um newscast that was, that was like, you should watch you. I'm like, I should watch me? Like, no, nigga, you watch you. Watch you. And I was like, you know, this is really funny. So I like to confuse people with that. But You is a TV show on YouTube. You is a very good TV show. And it's about this crazy guy who just thinks that he could kill everybody who comes into his girl's life. That's not even his girl, first of all. But in the second season, it is his girl. But the killing really didn't stop. It's just a lot of killing going on over the one you love. And I kind of find it romantic. So if you want to come for me for liking the you show and wanting a nigga like him, then fine. But if you're not coming at me like how he was coming, then I don't want you. Pretty simple. But yeah, next suggestion we have is the 100. I gotta say that again. The 100. Because I know this show is very great because it's very great and it has very good taste and it is gonna be graceful in this world and i'm gonna be a rapper too but no um uh the 100 is a really good show i'm not gonna lie it's one of them that is close to love honestly because like dang in the future if that happened to us we have to migrate into outer space because the earth was like freaking on fire or something and then honestly we have to have a lot of population control and then we have to repopulate earth because we don't have enough resources in that in that little shuttle that we have in space and it's just like dang i just spoiled it for y'all but that's only about the first two episodes so if you want just just skip past it because you already know what's gonna happen they didn't have enough resources so they have to migrate right back to earth and yeah, it just goes on. It's like a whole thing. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna be able to see that. So you have to watch it yourself. I'm not gonna spoil it for y'all any further. You have to watch it yourself. It's just that good. So next um, suggestion we have is Demon Slayer. Now I know a lot of people know what this is because it has a game of its own. It has a game on the console that you could use. So yeah, Demon Slayer is a very good um anime it is an anime and honestly like i said the main character has a terrible backstory and it's like if i was that guy and that was my sister then i don't know what i would do he has a lot of heart on him because he is just like the best big brother ever because he carries his sister around a box and it's like dang yo family dead except for her <laughs> damn it oh my gosh i freaking hate this stuff when they when the main character ends up being alone and then they realize that they're not alone that's the best part of it because you know you was rooting for that person and now they got someone in their life but not for long because we don't know what's gonna happen next so next suggestion next suggestion is another anime it's called food wars did I, did I say anything wrong about that no it's called food wars and honestly i, I only watched this because it looks good y'all ever look at animes anime food and it looked really good and appetizing yeah that's exactly why I, why I watched it i wanted to watch an anime i always watch food videos in like on, on like youtube and you know instagram but Food Wars did, did something different for me. Every time I watched it, I was like getting hungry. And it's like, yeah, that's not even real food. What am I even looking at? But that thing could still make you very hungry. So 
if you like watching food videos maybe food wars is for you because they have a whole entire plot with the food and stuff and they are like chefs and they're just in the cooking they're in the kitchen whipping whipping cooking it up and it's like dang that looks good if i could like mimic what they were doing and actually make something like like that then um yeah it's 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 you know it's really good I'm not gonna lie so i haven't finished watching it because i like real food but but either way it's it's, it's still good it's still a good show if y'all like to watch food food stuff and y'all like anime perfect match perfect match you know so yeah the next um the next show i mean the next suggestion that i have for y'all is like i was saying before if you did not remember what, what show i said i loved the third most best that couldn't even be third most best because i'm just thinking about it right now that show is really amazing i love it it's at number one it's at number two and attack on titan has gold now that's really hard how am i supposed to choose between attack on titan and um toradora it's like how the hell are they gonna do that to someone i have taste so of course what i'm telling you is going to is going to be very great -ness. so yeah if you want to watch a great anime about love and flourishing happiness then watch toradora because you'll be in a trance and you'll want to watch the whole thing at once a lot of, a lot of people are not like that but toradora got that they really do so next we have everyone knows what this show is we have stranger things Stranger Things is one of the best TV shows out there. I'm not gonna lie to y'all because Stranger Things is just like one of the most unique TV shows because it's it's not about like just anything. It's about the underground world. I actually think that thing is true because like look at us. Look at us. Okay. And Stranger Things is just just like it's just really good because you know it doesn't it doesn't like there's not a lot of TV shows like that. So I like the uniqueness of it, and I like that the main character is a girl named Eleven. And it just said Eleven on my screen. So, uh, you know, it's a really good show. It's it's a really good show. It has it's coming out for another season, and I cannot wait. It's about a girl who is going through it. It's not like a regular girl. So yeah, you know, girl power to the to the people. You know, we are on the Stranger Things train, and we're loving it. That's all I'm gonna say so next last but not least we have on my block i don't know if y'all knew what i was gonna say because a lot of y'all was like dang she hasn't mentioned this show yet why not why not mention this show yes i was gonna mention it y'all just have to be careful y'all have to be patient be patient but yeah um on my block is a really good show the first couple seasons really got me not gonna lie to y'all but it's slowing down now because some the one character one character that, that everyone loves is carrying the show on their back and it's like dang it's still a good show but give the boy some slack cut the boy some slack because he's been doing his job he's been doing this acting thing like it's nothing and he got it he got in the bag he got in the bag boy and i love him for that and that's one of my favorite characters plus the girl so yeah if you haven't watched on my block then go do that right now because it's a very good show but yeah that is the end of this video if you really enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up because you know your girl your girl loves a good thumbs up i have to have a lot of thumbs up on this video because if i don't then i'm gonna be very sad and i'm not, I'm not gonna feel like i'm good at this youtubing thing which i feel like i am but i'm not the only way i can know is if you guys tell me so yeah um yeah we're just gonna you know keep it at that this video is now finished this video is now finished so if you would like to subscribe hit that like button share it with your friends they they can know some really good stuff to watch again and if you want to part two which i do have like a lot of more shows that i could tell you all about which some of them are really mainstream and i haven't even mentioned them in this so yeah a part two could come very soon if you want it you got it so yeah just comment, like, share. And it's your girl, Big Papa V. And we out this mother.